was a woman who lived in a big house by the lake. She lived all alone because her parents had died. They left her lots and lots of money so she didn't have to worry about anything. She spent her days creating fantastical works of art. Before long, her lawn was filled with sculptures concrete creatures born from her fertile imagination. She created her own world to live in. People said she was a witch. They said she murdered her family and that she hid the bodies in her sculptures. Children in the town would dare each other to go to her house late at night. They vandalized her artwork and taunted her relentlessly. Seasons changed, and years went by. Finally, she was forced to put up a barbed wire topped fence and metal grates over her windows to keep out the intruders. She became paranoid. She withdrew into the magical world she had created. And there she stayed for the rest of her days alone. Mary Knoll died in the year 2001. Her house and her priceless artistic legacy remain locked behind these gates. Many of her sculptures evoke fantasy and have an innocent childlike charm. Some were of children and of figures embracing one another. Perhaps they expressed Mary's longing for human affection, for love. Maybe some people were just meant to be alone. Maybe she created these beautiful sculptures so she would no longer be lonely.